The German Shepherd Dog, considered by many to be the king of all breeds. And if you're watching this video, then you probably already know how great this breed is. So I'm going to take this opportunity to help you learn a few things that maybe aren't so well known about the German Shepherd Dog breed if you're considering adopting one. The German Shepherd Dog has undergone a fairly wide rift amongst breeders in two primary ways. First, between the American bloodlines and the European bloodlines. American bloodlines have become little more than beauty queens, bred to prance around AKC confirmation show rings. In my opinion, they are a shadow of what Captain Max von Stefanitz deemed perfection in his ideal dog horrend. These dogs were developed to be bred as working dogs. Now, if you just want to own a working dog with no intention of actually working the dog, for example, in police work, search and rescue, herding, etc., that's fine. But anybody who's breeding German Shepherd dogs should strive to stay true to the breed's character, and the American bloodline breeders, in my opinion, have not. The second primary rift has occurred amongst German bloodlines. Now, each country in Europe may have slightly different breeding standards, but in general, the various German bloodlines are split between dogs bred specifically for working ability versus dogs bred for confirmation, but who must also demonstrate some working ability in order to be bred, which is not the case for the American bloodlines. And just like in any endeavor, once you introduce multiple factors, you're usually getting 50% effectiveness from each. Just like with automobiles, you can have a sports car or you can have a luxury car. You can make the luxury car more sporty, but it will very rarely be able to compete with the race car. These are known as German showline breeders. And yes, you can find American breeders here in America who breed either German working lines or German show lines. The German show line breeders will tell you that they're breeding for the total dog. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds good. In my experience, breeding the two bloodlines together usually produces the worst of both. But I'm drawing that conclusion from only working with four separate breedings that were a mix of the two. Either way you go, German show line or German working line, you can find a very nice dog, and I recommend looking at either of these types of bloodlines before looking at the American bloodlines of the German Shepherd dog, due to the working requirements, theoretically anyways, placed on the breeding of the dogs.